It is said that wars are only won upon the anvil of honor. Others believe victory requires strategy and a mastery of power. War is deception. A game played best from the shadows. Only strength and raw power can assure total dominance. Welcome to Lord on the Aftermath Replay. Today we are back to 1.31 and it's awkward. I don't actually remember the name of the game. I don't have the tab open with the email currently, so you know I'm un unable to actually just look at the name. But I think it's episode 57. I'm, I'm lo losing my count here, you know. It is just losing my count. So today we have a whole set of new plays which I've never seen before, so I'm looking forward to see what skills they have and etc. Oh, I missed this. Uh, we have Dragon Mount, which is Bednaro Dragon. Okay. What the? <laughs> okay. Troll Empire KXMXR. Right. The Silver Hand, which is Frass. I'm gonna just go with Frass. Uh, Ghost, which is Cult of the Damned. We do have KVMEL as the Forsaken. We have Iskir. Which is the Horde. Hold on here, they all have their... Like, if you look at the names, they have like, of course, the name and then they have what race they are. Wonder what's the reason for that name. Um, FinQ as the Dwarves. We do have Fali as the Dalron Remnants. We do have Ice Weather as the Burning Legion. And then we do have Golden... No, Gold Coin, not Golden, sorry. As the Scourge. And then we have Cronus as the Blood Elves. Let me see, are they... One, two, three, four of the same clan by the looks of it. I don't know. Um, let's just get started, shall we? So Forsaken is moving out immediately, most likely to either head south or to go and get their beautiful uh, extra minions. So we do have the rest of the Blood of Forces staying behind, in fact, uh, while Keltas is running away. Okay, now they are. We use an early creep from Dalaran to take Snarlmane from Forsaken, really interesting. And Legion is immediately going for the chapel and not teleporting to Outland. Good, taking Mugthol and the bandits, so we're at least getting that on the road here. Uh, let's go down to Dragon Mouse. So Morgo is on the move, gonna go down here and take the dragons here. Necrosh hasn't been moved just yet, but it's a little bit early to maybe say something otherwise. Uh, Scourge not moving much yet, but we have, do have a new Barak moving this way actually, not going down to Ashuna Rup immediately. Um, Fouls on his way south, uh, Bran getting in the, the, in those. Oh! So they're trying to rush Frostbane Hall, but there's a large force there still, which means the, these Dwarf Forces are going to get destroyed by the Trolls forces, mostly because of the towers and some of the... just because that the Trolls outnumber the Dwarves in the early game here, so... He is making more forces, but I'm not sure if he's going to win this battle. He's going to need some more siege to take out the towers and, you know, just derange it as, and, and as well. Magni could die if he's not too careful here. Um, Garethos is currently creeping around there. Morgren is in ships already. Morgren is in a ship and is just gonna head south most likely and get the Ashbringer while the rest of his forces are staying behind. Um, Scourge and Cult is doing some tactics and talking about some stuff, so I'm not sure where they're trying to defend. He has Corns Crossing. Did it bring Dark Hundred there down? Very good to see that. Very happy. Um, Horde. Yep, Gorn is down south there and he's rushing a little bit uh, north there. Drekthor is in a zeppelin and hasn't gone here, to be honest. Oh, he's keeping a dragon there just to make sure Drekthor doesn't get it. Very smart dragon mark. Already liking this. And Necrosh is not attacking Mental Harbor. He's sending his forces to attack, I believe it was here. Yep, Necrosh is there. And destroying, uh, destroying it. Okay. So, Daron, what are you actually going? Uh, oh, so you have gone. Forsaken, no, no, <laughs> yes, new path for Dalaran Remnants, uh, confirmed Forsaken, um, which is Worgen, and he is going it, but currently it seems that he might, he's not maybe uh, not going to make it, there's the Grave Wolf waiting for Gen Greyman, Forsaken is already in the lands there, but they could still turn it around, it is possible with the early Rush Worgen, if he gets the Tree of Taldoran, um, and get to Dru Druids of the Sight and etc. He will be able to push back Forsaken. Unless Forsaken has possession on the Banshees, which I don't. There will be only uh, anti medic Shell, which is ready there. Um, 
Okay, so now he's in Outland. He just took the chapel and now he's in Outland, you know. Secure control of everything. Speaking of Outland, has Dragon Mar actually done something here? No. Uh, some of the demon forces might have killed them off because there seems to be some corpses here or the Murlocs actually killed them. Who knows? Uh, Blood Elves is north. Oh, wow! So, uh, Scourge has made sure to reinforce uh, Silvermoon with extra abominations and Crypt Fiends to make sure Blood Elves are not getting it and they're sending the Cult of the Dam Forces down uh, to the gates as well to make sure to just reinforce it heavily. Yeah, even trading extra forces, the catapults as well, uh, and the Crypt Fiends to make sure they're not getting Silvermoon, which is a very smart move by them. Thank goodness, good work, Scourge. Uh, yeah, Menethil Harbour and Anubrak is just currently doing nothing. Silverhand was on his way down south or barely survived as well. Uh, he has steam tanks ready for an attack from uh, Colt and Colt is okay standing there and no band has been creeped yet. Um, let's go down to Dragon Map because I'm very interested in you to be honest because you did quite nice. Your main force is now going to Menethil Harbour. <laughs> really. And he is currently getting a base then. I think I saw... Ho yeah, Horde is moving into... Uh, yeah, Horde is moving into Casperdan uh, already and Trolls are in full control of down south. The dwarves have been forced inside uh, Falstead and uh, Magni almost dead. Uh, but... Hold on. Where's the rest of the Trolls? Still standing there. He's focusing Frostmane, I think, and he's doing nicely. He might have the help of the Horde. Dragon Mom might be in some trouble here. Uh, might be. But then again, he doesn't have the Earthrun, uh, which is a great uh, tool. A great tool. Is he planning to in, uh, leave Northrun in ships or something? I don't know what gold, uh, gold, gold coin is planning to do. So, Blood Elves failed because Scourge reinforced the city uh, quite heavily as well. Uh, which means Silvermoon is not going to get restored or anything for for the time being, and he might turn wretched. Now, Belgun is uh, in action everything, and Bran as well, which means they're going to go and get the secrets and get extra gold, which means they're going to be able to bunker up here, get stronger forces, and etc. And etc. Or you maybe, uh, yeah, you're moved down here to the middle again, uh, where you're going to face off against Dragon Master. He has a force ready. He has a force ready to, uh, in case uh, they would come. He's finishing off Mental Harbor, uh, so he's ready in case they would come here. They will serve as a distraction, uh, so his main force could then escape. It is as I predicted with this. I didn't see the battle, unfortunately, but he got the Druids of the site up and pushed the Forsaken back heavily. Uh, yeah, the, like the walking rush. Or oh, the Worgen in 1.32 is very hard to counter. Incredibly hard to counter. Uh, but in 1.32, it should. Like, Aragal's level should have been nerfed a little bit. But the Druids of the Sight are just so powerful against the early game abominations. And of course, the Great Hawks are very strong as well and can aim down his meat wagons quite good. Uh, so, Silverhand has quite a strong army. Cult could potentially lose if he were to invi invade, be just because of the steam tanks are just so strong in this version. And I think they're also strong in 1.32 still. Yes, yeah, Scourge is, is taking the chance to just keep invading uh, Blood Elves at the moment, taking more of their land uh, as he continues, which is very clever of him. So, how many of the Alliance members are doing quite nice for themselves at the moment? Um, but hold on, I just... Right, we have the other one, which is or Wargame, which is doing nice. Blood Elves are doing a little bit bad. Silverhand is doing good currently, and Dwarves is in a little bit of a peril currently in Ironforge. He's doing nice in Northrend, but currently in... Uh, down south, he is not doing too nice. Forsaken might lose here, unless Legion t uh, comes in and helps, which I doubt will happen. But it is the possibility that it could happen. I'm a noob scourge, by the way. Oh. Okay, so I'm glad he's actually admitting it. That he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, no, no, he doesn't know what he's doing, but he's new, but Scourge, but... Glad to see that people actually inform their allies if they're not good. Oh! Noob cult! Well, they did a smart move by at least uh, reinforcing Silver Moon. So, uh, they did good at... Holy shit, he has a large army north. Not that he needs his large army south currently, because he's just taking care of Mental Harbor, and then... Uh, at... Did Silverhand try and push out? I think that's what happened. So Morgren is 
That's called to us. Most likely since Horde is currently controlling Kasmodan, which is very, very a big shame for him. Yeah, Forsaken is going to go north to Valkyrian since he lost the capital city to Worgen, which means Worgen is going to start pushing on Scourge, which means Scourge has to hurry unless they want Silverhand to be able to win. So he's trying to push there. The steam tanks are doing very nicely in behind the lines. They're just attacking the abomination on the front lines there. Uh, Frost armor coming out. Towers are still up. Uh, he might need some help there. Damn. What did he get? Where? How? What? Where did this happen? Where? How? Was did he battle him? It doesn't seem like he battled him. How did he lose? Oh, how did he lose him? Damn it! I want really. Oh well. Um, nothing to do about that. Echodom going up. Uh, is Forsaken gonna go Valkyrian? We're gonna find out that out. No, Tulbarad, as most people actually seem to do. So, um, as I also thought, uh, he wouldn't be able to win. Oh, wow, he act actually, he still has forces up. He took out the steam tanks. Uh, and Satan is just behind the lines there. So, he's actually going to be able to push in and take this if he just spam some more forces. But I don't think... He 562, he's going to have enough forces. And you have forces there you could send down. So Blood Elves are still battling the Scourge currently in Quel'Thalas, which is a new thing that they're still battling them. So they have a good choke point here. If they have some Spellbreakers on the front line, and of course Flame Strike from Kel'Thar Sunstrider, which is pretty powerful, pretty powerful to use here. So he's still trying to hold uh, Quel'Thalas there. 79 uh, gold, so he's not going to be able to produce too many forces. He just don't, don't want to lose the essence. That's the more main priority he has now. No, Dragon Man. No, 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 don't ally, no. Our allies town. Don't ally, please. Uh. Almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. And he's uh, towering up uh, Ironforge. Monsa, Monsa, I don't know what that means. And Trolls is in full control down south still. And he's not using anywhere else to do anything? No, he is trying to attack F Area Peak, but it's... Uh, Currently trying to. What was that? We're under I don't know. Kelthas. Oh, he lost Holdrun. That's what happened because of the Silver Moon is not being restored yet. Oh, but he gets the Fell Pact, which I think. Uh, oh. So he's uh, dragging my joints to Horde. Damn it. I was hoping for Battle South. Yeah, the Yellow lost not, uh, South now. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, God damn it. What was I going to say? Oh, no. Oh no, 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 that ship has the essence and Kel'thas. Why does it still remain there? Oh god. Our allies town needs help. Right. So, is Colt actually winning? No, Sylvan is pushing back, or at least trying to aim down Kel'thusan, the knights and search, are trying to aim him down so he will lose the book. Okay. Uh, Darkhan is gonna die. What the? Okay, uh, that was an incredible aim there. You just blocked off with the gate, though. Uh, uh, you are in s full strength now. It is incredible. You are currently very strong. So the horde now is incredibly powerful. They have horde. They have trolls. They have dragon mart. They uh, dwarves is not going to stand a chance down south. Now you might join Legion. Uh, I'm not going to look away from that. You could actually join Legion now. It would be the most beneficial for you currently. And now the Dreadlords are just trying to take down Moor. You just have to aim that thing and then re re revive your troops afterwards. It's that simple, in fact. So you're on Tulbarad. <laughs> you probably want to go north to Valkyrie, in fact. Arthur is not doing much at all, and no, neither is no, neither. Sorry, is a Nubrak doing currently for himself as well. Uh, and Colt wasn't doing too much either. I mean, he's back at silver and uh, at uh, to his hand and forces from blues being sent in now. Who was I? Want, who did I want to look at? It was silver hand because you are stuck there and you want to get in there, but you can't unless you get a scroll. That's how it works currently for you. 
Garethos down at South Shore is Satan. Okay. Satan is in Kothalos. And Scourge is just pushing even more and more and taking everything the Blood Elves have. Strange. Very strange, in fact. Yeah, Terrasen's now fallen, and Scourge remains in control of Kothalas and Asian Plaguelands, and they will soon be fighting Worgen now, which is currently in Andorhal. Uh, so they're... Oof. No upgrades, but they're master on the Druids of the site. Wait, do they ever play the upgrades? No. But yeah, they are now pushing in on them. Garethos could join up with the Worgen, in fact, uh, and make a push on Scourge, which wouldn't be bad. Oh, Drekthar. Uh, okay, that'll happen now. Where's Sila and the others? Holy shit. Look at that. Orc and troll army down south. <laughs> Alexandros is going to need a big cavalry if he wants to have a chance at rescuing Sil uh, uh, so Silvermoon. Ironforge from the... Uh, the uh, the horde. They're currently taking care of the Iron Forge defend ta defense towers. Oh, Falstad is gone. Is he's made his way up north again, which is good. So he's going to focus on Area Peak a little bit. Uh, as Trolls is trying to invade there as well. Bale, he's just ha having them stay here. There's creeps as well you might want to take from Scourge, which, uh, which would give you extra income. Oh, Kaothos is going to get the Dawn Strider Harbor, but I think he needs to have Silver Moon before he destroys it. Not to sh Ho Holy Mother of God, how could... How are you not using any of your gold to upgrade or anything? Oh my God. Well, at least you get Akros now. Uh, Portal is going to come up to Northrun soon. Yeah, a base, at, a base there. Okay. And that's... Scourge builds up and gets some more reinforcements. He's going to fail at defeating Morgan, I think. Okay, so you don't need uh, Silver Moon to get Don't Destroy the Harbor. Uh, I was wrong then. Terribly sorry about that. Um, Our town is under attack. So Horde might move somewhere else. Since Silverhand is uh, currently focusing a little bit here uh, on Stromgard and uh, our Rafty Highlands with Garethos. Just to prevent him doing it. Um Okay. Forsaken is moving ships, but where? Oh, Blood of still stuff there. Oh, so Morgan is rushing into the moss of of death itself. And currently the army Scourge has is gonna fail against the Worgen, I think. The troops of the site are just so powerful at this level. They're just gonna slaughter what there is barely any front lines there, but of course abomination from Cult of Damned is coming in now. So the castles of Cult are going to be a little bit, uh, have a little bit hard time here against the Fairy Dragons, which is going to deal some damage every time they use Antimatic Shell or Frost Nova or healing and etc. and etc. You have Sorcerers and Wolf Cult followers, which is going to can do the mass region region rejuvenation healing here, which is very powerful. Storm Eagles can just aim down, let's say Keltosad, and that would make him flee in. Uh, in peril here to lose the book because we saw that happen last time it was aimed. Oh, well, that's a bit harsh of me saying actually, but still. Uh, so the Scourge is currently heavily re reinforcing. They have a lot of forces. Let's take a look at heroes here. Gangreman is still alive and good, so he's going to be able to do Howl, Howl of Terror out on the enemies. Uh, Darius Crow doesn't have any specific AoEs ability or anything. Aragorn is going to provide with extra wolves, healing, and the nice aura. No, that's. That's Gen Grayman. I think Gen Grayman is going to get is gonna get a little bit aimed here. So just his this small force, as I said, is holding very nicely. Uh, while Scourge is forced to uh, spam more and more. Mass rejuvenation would be very nice on his force now. I'm unable to see if he has much more forces. He doesn't have as many fairy dragons as he started with and storm eagles. So he's currently losing forces and uh, is actually forced to flee. He's put his troops out of the bear form. Wow. So together with the spam here, they ma they managed to push them back. And some of the wolves are aiming down Arthas and might actually get him. Yeah, they got him actually. They're not going to be able to get the Lord on Crown, unfortunately, but they got him. <laughs> so of course they are spamming more. Uh, so Blood Offs could accompany him. Uh, or he's going to be forced to... 
You know what? Actually, please go uh, fell. That would be fun to see. Go fell. So where are you? You're down south now. Gonna take some more forces. Are gonna start your campaign. Uh, is actually the CPs here? And then we have Kazakh. No, I don't. There is no CPs down here, which means there aren't gonna be any CPs worth catching here. I thought they might have added, uh, but I was uh, mistaken. There was a ship that was sent down, but where did that ship go? Um, but you're there. You're there, and you're taking CPs everywhere. Yeah, Yellow was defeated here. Uh, there was not even worth watching there because we knew he would fail. And yeah, oh, he actually left. Wow. Okay. So the alliance is now split into minor factions now, and Keldas is depending on these power regenera regenerators. And going to Kothalas would be horrible for him unless he had a great force in restoring the Sunwell. Where is this force that was in Kothalas? Has it been pushed down south to the rest of his allies, or no? It is still standing there. So Horde has moved up north, which and the same as the other is going to do soon. And Trolls has destroyed Area Peak, which means they're going to move up Anderhall. And Horde might move to Gilneas, which means Gilneas would be forced to go back most likely soon. Uh, instead of fighting Scourge, uh, or else they would lose the Tree of Taldron, which means they wouldn't be able to create Fairy Dragons and the Root of the Side. I'm not sure about the Cult followers, but uh, we, would, we will find out maybe eventually. So Silverhand is in a bad position because they are currently focused on Garethos and their knights, which they don't have much of. Um, they do have Satan stuck in Quothalas, and Mogwin, which is also stuck at... Uh, oh god. Kul'Tras. And he's not going to be able to get the Ashbringer, unfortunately, since Horde was occupying down south. Yeah, Dragon is still down here. Oh, so he also took care of this <laughs> ghoul spam coming in. And Death and Arthur is up again, but who has the crown? It must be. Um, yeah. It is Kel'Thuzad. Oh my god. Look at the blood elves. They're gonna die now. <laughs> they are not gonna survive this. Oh, the essence. No, 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 no. Kel'Thuzad, run, 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 run. You have the essence. No, 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 no. <laughs> Scourge got the essence. Oh, can get the essence now. Um, they can get Sunwell. I think Bloodhouse is going to leave now. And I think that he realized it. He realized what was going on. Uh, and he's even warning Bloodhouse, I think. Oh my god. That cheeky bastard Varumathras took the essence before the Scourge could even take it. <laughs> okay, nice play, Legion. Ta Plaga Jesse Gubsa. Actually, uh, I don't know what it means. Uh, I don't know what language. Could be Polish, could be anything. Oh! Yeah, he goes fell up once he realizes he lost everything. Oh, and Kelthus is spawned like, up again. Wow! And. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he could kill the heroes here now. He could kill them with Valera. Holy shit. He could kill all of the heroes before they even spawn. That's insane, actually. But isn't the Troll Slayer in here? I thought the Troll Slayer was in here. Either way, he still has this island. And now Legion has an ally on his side now. Which means he has the essence. He could teleport up north and start preparing the sun well. Uh, so yeah, things are going good for him. Now, I didn't pay attention to the Scourge battle, but it seems that he lost, that Blue lost his force, yep. Uh, and Cult of them was in, oh, he's north in Naxxramas with most of the things. Don't sleep. So, Vorgan just ultimately crushed them. Horde is moving in Hillsbred, or, yeah, in Hillsbred, it's gonna move over to Gilneas pretty soon. Uh, where is Alliance? Oh, uh, Alliance was in this battle as well, uh, fighting alongside his, uh, Beastly friends. <laughs> now that they can destroy the Sunstrider Isle here. No, the Sunstrider Sun Harbor. So there you go, that. Oh man. Um, Dragon Mart, where are you? 
down south and preparing to go north, most likely. You're there. You're there, and you are there. Okay. So, Suljin is the only one not being uh, focused on here. The best thing for Purple to do now is to flee back to Gelios, at least down back to... Uh, at least down there, because he's going to be caught in a trap here. Scourge is on one side, and he defeated Scourge, but... And Horde? I don't think so. So currently, the strongest player, uh, of course, the team is Scourge. No, sorry, uh, Trolls. Scourge is still a major threat, but not as big as they were. Uh, Galeas is very powerful to threat as well, and Legion is on the way to becoming one as well. Forsaken? Um, uh, can be discussed. He's probably going to take the island now here, yeah. but Morgan is still here. He's going to defend the island with all his life. Yep. Right, I'm going to end part one here, so thanks so much for watching, and until next time, guys, bye-bye.